All right, so for today, we're going to learn what we call the radical and exponential form. Now, we talk about radicals already. Now, remember, we had a radical. We had, we call that a radical symbol. And then outside, this number out here, we call that the root. Okay. Square roots is, the root is two, but we also saw cube roots, fourth root, fifth root. Right, the number outside is a root. If we don't see a number, we're going to say that the, the root is two, so square root. Then we're going to be dealing with exponents. So we're going to write an exponent here. Now we're going to do, we're going to go from radical, from, a, from exponents to radical. Now from the exponents, we have it as a fraction. So on my fraction, I'm going to have exponent over root. So it's given to us first as a, as an exponential form. You guys see question number 29. You guys see my exponent. You guys see a fraction. But remember, we're going to have exponent over root. So the way I'm going to write this, because I'm going to write this in a radical form. First of all, let me write my radical symbol. Inside the radical, I'm going to have a 5x. Now my root is gonna be three. So I'm going to write my three here. Notice that's basically what I got from the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna be root three. And I'm gonna say all of this is gonna be to the fourth power, my exponent. That's this number up here. That's it. Let's take a look at number 30. So to begin with, I'm gonna write my radical symbol and I'm gonna write a six X on the inside I can say the root is two and all of this to the one power. Remember, my fraction is exponent over root. Now, a couple of things. The exponent is one. So can I just write this as the square root of six to the X? I don't have to write to the one. Fine, that, that's the same thing. Now, if you guys just see this as the square root of 6x, that is also correct. All these three ways are the exact same thing. Now, I can choose to not write the exponent because it's to the 1. I can choose to not write the root because it's square, square root. So this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. All right, now let's take a look at number 31. I'm going to write my radical symbol. There's an N on the inside. My root is fifth. I have to write my, my root in this case because it's not a two, it's a five. And all of this to the seventh power. Looking at question number 32, let me write my radical. 6P goes inside. My root is two. I'm going to not write it. I can choose to not write the square root. You guys want to write it, you guys can go ahead and my exponent, all of this to the fifth. Notice I was using parentheses for my exponent. So we, we can go from exponential form to radical form. And obviously we're going to be able to go backwards. So let's take a look at question number 33. Now this is given to me as an, as an exponential form, as a radical form. And I want this as an exponential form. Okay. So I'm going to say it all right inside my parentheses. I'm going to have a parentheses here and I'm going to have a 7R. Now I do have to include parentheses. Every time inside of my radical, I have two things. I have a number and I have a letter. So I have two things. Every time you have two or more things, because you could have more than two, two or more, you have to use parentheses. Now, if you only have one thing, right, one number, one letter, then you don't have to use parentheses. But in my case, I have to because I have a number and a letter. Now, my exponent, I'm going to say it is 5 over 2. My exponent is 5. You guys can see where the 5 comes from. And the 2 is the root. I didn't see a number here, so it's 2. Now for number 34, I have to use parentheses. I'm gonna put my two M inside parentheses. Again, when there's two things, in this case, a number and a letter, 
I have to use parentheses. And my exponent is going to be 8 over 5. Exponent over root. Now, looking at number 35, I don't have to use parentheses because inside my radical, I only have a letter. But when you only have one thing, a numbered or a letter, you don't have to use parentheses. And I'm going to say my exponent is going to be 7 over 4. Now, for 36, 10p, I have to use parentheses because there's a number, there's a letter. Remember, my exponent is exponent, my fraction is exponent over root. I see my exponent is 3 over my root. When I don't see the number outside of the radical symbol, the root is 2. So 3 over 2. That's basically what we saw today.